Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review. Just got off work. Literally just got home. Didn't have any uh, um, beers to drink except for ones that are left for reviewing. So hang on one second. Alright, sorry about that. I saw a piece of sand on the top of the can. This is um, one from Brew Dog. It's called Elvis Juice. It's a grapefruit infused IPA coming in, coming in at 6.5% alcohol by volume. And um, I've never, I don't think I've ever had this before. I don't think I've seen it either. So pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to see where they're from. Um, I don't see it. So united we stand for better beer, fiercely defiant and independent. Okay, cool. Good for you. Malt beverage with natural flavors. Right, well, I don't see where they're from. I guess you could Google it if you really want to know. It's a 19.2 fluid ounce can I picked up at um, Valley Liquor up uh, up there in Santa Ana. And uh, cheers, guys. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, that's what the can looks like. Elvis juice. This is uh, probably a couple months old. Yeah, born on 05, 18, so this is over two months old. It should be fine though. So uh, yeah, I picked this up for like five bucks. So uh, let's, let's handle this puppy here. See what we got. I don't recall much brew dog, but something tells me it's like a you know budget craft probably. Well, it's definitely a West Coast style. Two and a half months old. It's about a two weeks older than I like to get them, but it should be fine still. All right, Elvis juice from Brew Dog. So we have monster, frothy, creamy, silky head. Very tight looking. Looks really good. Off white. Um, we've got a slight haze to this uh, light copper color, or some would say amber. I think amber is a little more yellowy, personally, but yeah, light copper. I'll call that. Looks pretty good. Definitely looks like a West Coast style. Let's check out the aroma. I'm getting the grapefruit. Yeah, I'm getting a nice sweet grapefruit note. Yeah, and a little bit of maltiness coming through. Smells pretty good. Cheers. Okay. I'm telling you, this tastes good right now, also because I am thirsty right now. It's hot today. I just got off work, just walked in the door, and I need beer. Cheers. And that's hitting right now. It's hitting very good. Um, getting a little bit of pine, uh, a little earthy kind of note, a little herbally coming through also, some nice little malt action malt brady kind of action elvis juice huh all right look at that beer good looking tastes good that's nice that grapefruit is a nice touch to this beer I like it. Pretty tasty. Yeah, that's nice. So I'll sip on it for a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's not a bad beer at all, really. It's pretty decent. Um, even at two and a half months old, it's still pretty darn tasty. It's a nice, just grapefruit flavored type, you know, West Coast IPA. It's not over the top. It's you know only six point, I don't know six and a half percent 
ABV, ABV, and so you can't expect too much. But uh, I like it. I think it's pretty good. It'd be a good session beer, a good go-to beer if you can get it. Um, I think it's decent. It's got a medium mouthfeel, uh, no booziness at all, no raw alcohol notes. Um, it's enjoyable. I like it. Um, it's a budget craft, I would say, budget craft beer. So with that said, on a scale of one to five stars, two and a half being C average, um, I think I'll go 3.9 on this one. Um, it probably would have made it to a four if I'd have got it fresher, but it is what it is, right? Yeah, it's nice, nice and refreshing, not over the top. So 3.9 it is, that's my story, I'll stick with that. And uh, you know what to do, drink beer along with it. Cheers, have a great day, and we'll catch you all later. See ya.